Namaste. Uh, today we are here to discuss about the EP study. What is the course after the procedure has been done successfully? So uh, we come across patient uh, ask this question, what are the things we should not do when we should travel? What is the medicines they have to take and how long they have to take? So let, let me brief the things. If you are going for the EP study post procedure, we recommend that you should be more active. Means the day you have been uh, given the opportunity to walk, after that, it is a normal life you have to do. And we say that if you are more active, it is better because the chances of DVT, deep vein thrombosis, which can which is one of the risks which can happen post-procedure if the patient is inactive, it can be prevented. Second thing, we recommend that patient should be well hydrated, particularly in the very dry places or hot places where the patient is not taking proper water. The risk of developing DVT will be high if the patient is not taking water. So these two are the important information we ask all the patient who are going post procedure next day discharge from the hospital that they should be moving more at the home or if they are traveling they should make sure that while in the train or in the flight wherever possible on the airport they should walk enough so that the chances of DVT should be the least possible and at the same time they should hydrate themselves. Other than that some medicines we give as a painkiller so that you should not have the pain at the site where we have, we have deployed the catheters. So there is no catheter as such when you are discharged and there is no cannulas at that particular time. So you are given the pain relieving medicine, sometimes we give antibiotics and depending upon the diagnosis and the chambers in which we have given the RF ablation, sometimes we give the blood thinners for some time. And that depends from three months to six months on the diagnosis and sometimes lifelong like atrial fibrillation. So in that situ situation, you have to take a blood thinner throughout the life. But the course should be started and the schedule should be known to the patient when they are going home. Coming to the what are the things you should not do, there is nothing like that. Whatever the normal healthy uh, person of that gender can do, you should also do from the next very day, yes the next very day, you can start all those things without any difficulty. And we recommend that yes, one or two weeks is the time in which if you are walking or at least three to four days, the first three, four days, you may be having minor pain in the location of the puncture where we put the catheters. So nothing to worry, those will be uh, we are of immediate after one or two days and you can resume your day-to-day -day activity, either it is a school, attending the school or going to your duties or uh, resuming whatever work you are doing, it may be a physical or it may be a mental or whatever you can resume. So you are absolutely normal, particularly if you have been diagnosed with PSVT, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, and most of the time it is curable after the ablation, and you doesn't need any medicines. But if you are having atrial tachycardia, VT, or pulmonary vein isolation for atrial fibrillation, there may be some medicines for some time, and sometimes it may be used for a prolonged time. That your do doctor will decide, and they will tell you regarding those things. So post EP study, you should do all the activity what you are doing earlier. Thank you so much. See you next time. If you are having any question and query, please post in the comment box. We will be happy to answer you. Thank you. Namaste.